And the Independent National Electric Commission, INEC, has removed Al Hassan Dogewa's name from the list of elected members of the House of Representatives for the Fent Assembly. The electoral umpire had declared Dogewa a member of the All Progressives Congress, APC, as the winner of the House of Representatives seat for Dogewa to Dun Wada Federal Constituency of Kano in the February 25 elections. Ibrahim Yakasai, the returning officer, had said Dogewa scored 39,732 votes to defeat Salisu Abdullahi, candidate of the New Nigeria People's Party, who polled 34,798 votes. However, as of Tuesday morning, Dogewa's name was missing from the list of elected houses of representatives members released by INEC. The electoral body posted a list on their verified Twitter page saying that the de declaration made by the returning officer was done under duress. This development comes less than 24 hours after the House of Representatives majority leader who was standing trial over alleged culpable homicide was granted bail. The lawmaker was arrested by the police on suspicion of leading an attack on the INEC office in his constituency which resulted in the death of six people. Well, joining me on the news to speak more on this development is uh, political affairs analyst and legal expert Evans Ufeli. Thank you very much for joining me. Now, you know, just after the elections, there were claims, even during the elections, there were claims from observers and citizens that the that INEC lacked transparency. Now, would you say this Dogawa's case is a clear sign of the uh, many irregularities, you know, people have been speaking about? Well, um, it's a sign of irregularity as we can see that um, the case is such that the election that took place in that axis had a lot of irregularities and um, INEC um, is taking a position to that effect. But what INEC is doing appears to be overreaching in the sense that um, if you are alleging ir ir irregularities, you must be able to subject that action to a court of law. And then the court of law will take its own course. So whatever INEC is doing now ought to have been what should be their contribution to litigation because INEC is a nominal party. and would have allowed the adverse party to commence its um, case and then they will now come up with their own uh, issue, the action they are taking now.